Now, in other news, the Palestinian Authority is in trouble as protests on the street are increasing. Demonstrators calling for investigation into activist Nizar Banat's death while condemning the continued arrest of political dissidents and critics like activist Issa Amro. Meanwhile, the PA even arresting a Palestinian singer this morning whose entire crime was performing for Palestinian workers at an Israeli factory. So what's going on in the PA? Could these protests be any danger to Ramallah, and how does Israel and the U.S. fit in? Joining us with the answers is ILTV's Asaf Nisan. Asaf, thanks so much for, for coming in again. Thank you, as always. All right, now what's been going on regarding the, uh, the investigation with Nizar Banat? So the investigation with Nazir Banat... Nazir, I'm so sorry, yeah. So the investigation itself by, with Nazir Banat has been going on slowly and almost halted by the PA. While they're trying to fix everything behind the scenes and outside the courtroom, they, uh, the, the, official rele uh, the official release of the cause of death has not been re revealed yet. So why isn't it releasing the, the cause of death? I mean, it, it, they are clearly against the protests. So what's been going on behind the scenes is they've been, been trying to reach out to the elders of the tribe, to the elders of the family, trying to, to create some sorts of outside deal from the courts in order to prevent the story to go into official investigation and thus going into courts. So how, how has this affected the PA's image, especially with respect to the residents in the Palestinian Authority? So, I mean, the, it didn't, I would say, it didn't worsen the image, the image the PA is suffering from already because it's been suffering from a negative image for the past 10 to 15 years, years almost. It's been caused by pretty much a feeling of corruption, a, of, of anti-relation anti to the people, um, thinking only of themselves, but the only reason that this is on the table is because the alternative is also Hamas, and this scares people all around in the end of the day. So that actually brings me to, to my next question, because if we're talking about Hamas potentially taking over, at least becoming a popular choice increasingly in the West Bank, this has been cited many times by security and defense establishments in Israel and the United States as being against the interests of the region. So is, is Israel now in a position where they have to support the Palestinian Authority? Israel has supported the PA behind the scenes the entire time. I mean, we're still, we're still giving them payments. We're still helping out humanitarian-wise. Everything we can do in order to keep the PA stable for us is, a bigger, is, is more than anything, especially if you see re, uh, remarks done by, uh, by the minister Isawi Fred from Meretz, who actually said that while the PA is facing a bad alternative for us, which is Hamas, Israel should continue supporting the PA no matter what. All right, so I want to turn now to the arrest of the, of the singer uh, who, is just, uh, who is just arrested for singing for Palestinian workers. Of, I, I mean, it's an Israeli factory in yeah. Ariel, but it was Palestinian workers there. Why, why the arrest? It's feeling, it, so despite the fact that Israel is supporting the PA behind the scenes and helping in security cooperation, financial cooperation, there still is a very distant feeling between uh, the collaboration and the peace. Because in the end of the day, promoting, promoting normalization, the time that the PA itself is facing fact that they're call, being called corrupt to the fact that they're uh, cooperating with Israel, they're going to try to play the card of anyone who's promoting normalization with the enemy should be arrested. Is that, is that something that actually will play into the popular opinions of the public? Or is that something that might backfire against the PA? Most, I don't think it'll backfire too much for the PA as long as Hamas is the, is the other option that's sitting across the desk and waiting to come in. I don't see Israel uh, going against it as much as possible. I mean, they want to stop and they want to put everything in support, especially since the PA will try to appeal to the people in the end, to, to the people, and they want to show them that there's no other option. The best option for them is the current option, the PA, which on the one hand, it does uh, enjoy international support, and also isn't considered a terror group. So both are pretty much there. All right, Asaf Nisan, thanks for your insights. Thank you so much.